My name is Natalia Rybczynski. I'm a vertebrate paleontologist at the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa. My discovery is really exciting for me because it's a new species, a new genus, and it's a missing link animal. In addition, this animal contributes to our understanding of ecosystems and mammals that lived in the high Arctic in the past, and we're interested in the relationship between the evolution of these systems and climate change. In 2007, we went to Devon Island to Houghton Crater to do a paleontological expedition. This is an expedition that I led with Dr. Mary Dawson at the Carnegie Museum. And by the end of that season, we had actually discovered what in fact turned out to be a new animal. It was a new carnivore, a mammal. And we'd found by the end of 2007 about 65% of the skeleton. So in 2008, we went back to the site with the hopes of finding the brain case, and in fact, we did. I think that this recent discovery has made quite a splash in the paleontological world. It will um, uh, address evolution in a big way. We named the animal Puyula darwini. Puyula is an Inuktitut word that means young marine mammal. What we're looking at is an animal that is in between a terrestrial ancestor and the marine type seals, flippered seals, that we see today. One of the first things that we did is we actually started scanning all of the bones of the skeleton and also the skull. So using 3D animation, we were able to, for example, reassemble the skull. And in the end, we could do the whole skeleton. You gotta see this, actually. Puyula lived in the high Arctic 24 to 20 million years ago, and we found it in a lake deposit, so we know it's a freshwater animal. If it was alive today, what you would see is an animal with webbed feet, um, an otter-like body and a long tail, it would also have big eyes, and this is something that we see in seals today. It could hunt in water, be very agile in the water, as otters and seals are today. But we also see that, in fact, if you just look at the skeleton, it looks like a regular land mammal in a lot of ways. So it could also hunt on land. Previously, we really had no idea how the seal lineage came from a terrestrial ancestor to become a fully marine form. And this is our first really solid evidence of a transitional form. In many ways, throughout um, Earth's history and evolution, we have seen ad adaptation coming from swimming to land. This way, it is the other way around, and that is a fabulous find. In the scientific literature, it's fairly accepted that the most likely center of origin for pinnipeds, the group that includes seals, the walrus and sea lions, would have been on the west coast of North America. Now with Puyula, we've actually found this animal in the high Arctic, and so this stirs things up a little bit. You can see the angles and whatnot very similar to our species. We're really at a frontier in terms of our knowledge of what the history of the Arctic has to reveal, and we see evidence, for example, of incredible climate change, and we're also now with finds like Puyula and other finds as well, getting an idea of how evolution, how organisms like mammals had responded to this climate change. This is really a quantum leap in our understanding of the evolution of pinnipeds. It puts Canada on the map, it puts the paleontological research conducted at this museum, the Museum of Nature, on the map as well. I'm certain that uh, uh, a lot of uh, scientists around the world will pay attention to this find.